In 2010, Homebase was involved with the prestigious Chelsea Flower Show, which attracts thousands of visitors every year. Supporting one of six show gardens with headline sponsor, Foreign and Colonial Investment Trust, Homebase collaborated with celebrated garden designer, Thomas Hoblin, to bring his biggest show garden to date to the world-renowned flower exhibition. Hoblin sourced planting, paving, furniture and accessories from Homebase to fit in with his chosen theme of cultivation. Inspired by the 18th century satirical novel Condide by French author Voltaire, the Mediterranean style garden was designed to represent the ill-fated travels of its hero Condide as he journeys around the world across oceans and rapids in search of his lost love Cunegonde. The garden embodied the spirit of the book and captured the final sentence which, when translated from the original French, reads, we must cultivate our garden. The grid-like layout was based on the fields of Condide's Turkish farm. It contained succulents and other drought-tolerant plants and featured an outdoor dining area, shady groves and water. At the centre was a unique flow form structure to symbolise the rapids through which Voltaire's hero enters the promised land of El Dorado. Gazing into the whirlpool at the end was a copper sculpture of Cunegonde. Additional statues peeped from within the garden's lushly planted walls. Homebase introduced a new range inspired by Hoblin's plant selection for the garden. The Chelsea collection of 12 plants includes Agapanthus, Blue Storm, Lavender, Munstead, and Canna, Tropicana Orange. The collection hit stores the week before the show and enables both keen and amateur gardeners alike to get the look of the Chelsea Flower Show design in their own home. On press day, the garden was a hive of activity with a series of performances. Against the stone-clad walls flanked with pockets of moss and lushly planted ferns, the voluptuous sculptures appeared to come to life with a performance by the model whose own body was used to cast the sculptures. Poet John Cooper Clarke read from the final scenes of the book and the electric string quartet Escala performed live. With an eye on sustainability, the entire garden was sold after the show and all proceeds were donated to the British Heart Foundation, Homebase's official charity partner. The involvement with the Chelsea Flower Show aligned the Homebase brand in the mind of gardening enthusiasts as the place to go for gardening equipment, flowers and accessories. It inspired consumers to visit a store to recreate the look with a Chelsea collection and highlighted the knowledge base of home-based horticultural experts. Well, the whole process probably started about 12 months ago. started to work with Tom on, um, particularly on the garden design. So home-based's input has been very much about the, the planting, uh, the accessories in the garden, and just sort of trying to bring that to life both here but also in our stores. I suppose the more recent activity has really been Tom here at the build. Uh, we've had store colleagues here over the last three weeks helping Tom to do the planting yeah. um, just sort of having a bit of Chelsea uh, and we did a sort of store competition so that the store colleagues that were really interested in gardening got the opportunity and they've loved it albeit maybe slightly hotter than they would have liked um, and then the event kind of comes around really quickly and we're here now, the garden looks fantastic, weather's glorious, couldn't really wish for anything better. We've got a collection of 12 of the plants that you see here today in our stores for sale for our customers. So they can take a bit of Chelsea and create it either in a pot or in a small border. And so we're sort of trying to make sure there's very much a sort of link between Chelsea here and Chelsea in our stores. It's very exciting.